The Delta variant continues to cause problems around the country and here in mid-Michigan as cases of COVID-19 continue to rise. And with students heading back to the classroom with no overall mandates to mask up, health experts are worried schools could turn into breeding grounds for COVID. Thanks for watching the news at five tonight. I'm David Custer and I'm Meg McLeod. The state of Michigan is reporting more than 3900 new cases of COVID since Tuesday, an average of 1320 per day. There were also three deaths that brings the state's totals to more than 910,000 cases and the death toll rises to 19,950. Now with the recent uptick in cases, the state will now post new coronavirus data on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. TV 5's Rachel McQuarrie spoke with a local doctor about why masking up in schools could be crucial to ending this pandemic. There's enough data out there that what's good for one is going to be good for the other. So it's unfortunate that these decisions are being made differently from a place that's two miles away from another place. As the Delta variant surges on, many schools are back open or will be opening in the next few weeks. The CDC is recommending that all teachers, staff, students, and visitors to schools mask up regardless of vaccination status. Yet some schools are not implementing a mask policy. So does Dr. Bobby McCamela, a Flint ear, nose, and throat doctor, think a mask mandate should happen next? I would really not like to see that be what pushes people into doing something, right? People should do something based on knowledge. Um, and so that the science is available, the data is available. Some schools in Genesee County are not making masks mandatory or they haven't taken a stance on the topic quite yet. McCamela says his former high school, Powers Catholic High School, is opening in just a few weeks. And as of now, there will be no masks required or social distancing. So to see my alma mater and my kids' alma mater make a decision that I think was heavily influenced by non-science type factors was disappointing to me. The doctor notes that Florida COVID hospitalizations are at a record high and the healthcare workers there will be called upon yet again to bear the brunt of it. And with Genesee County lagging behind in vaccination rates, despite vaccines being available, he wants local schools to take another look at the situation. I, I want them to read the opinion of the health department um, that came out that basically says that masks um, should be required in the classroom and then assess their own student body. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM, TV5.